move to closing statements and uh, uh, Brent, do you have one minute? One minute closing statement. Sorry. Okay, uh, I've been I've been told by the Queen that it's two minutes. <laughs> I was, I was told one minute, so I prepared one minute. But I'll get it done in one minute. Our USD is a district of choice, but I'd like to take that a step further and make our USD a destination of choice. Riverside is the best city in the Inland Empire, and because we are the best city, our school should be the best as well. That's why it's not acceptable that Valverde Unified School District, a district that has more a higher percentage of English learners, a higher percentage of students on the free and reduced lunch program than RUSD to have higher API scores and to have a better graduation rate. RUSD provided my wife and I, my wife Anna is here today, a great foundation for success after K-12. And I want to provide that same foundation for all students and from all backgrounds. No, I don't have teacher, I don't have board member next to my name, but I do have student, I have parent, I have business owner, and I have community partner. And then every one of these titles requires a willingness, a willingness to listen, the ability to engage and collaborate, and the strength to take action. And these are qualifications of a valuable and effective board member. When I filled out my candidate paperwork, there was no box that I had to check to be eligible to say that I was a teacher or a principal or, or even a politician. And do you want to know why? The school board is supposed to represent the community. And I feel that I am the strongest candidate that reflects today's community. So I ask for your support, I ask for your vote. I thank you all for coming today. I think this election is very important because of all the changes we are seeing in education and the ability to make change because we will have local control of our funds. Our USD is a good district. We have great teachers and we have lots of successful students. We just need to change the perception of outsiders that have on our district. And we need to change some of these measurables, our test scores and our proficiencies and push them forward so that RUSD becomes a destination for parents, for families, for businesses. Because that's how we're gonna push forward. That's how we're gonna attract those businesses, those higher paying jobs, and make Riverside and our schools the place in the end of the Thank you. Dr. B. I was thinking about the past, and someone said, if you ignore the past, you're doomed to repeat it. And that's always stuck in my mind. Uh, we must know what's going on previously in order to make good decisions for the future. Um, just to kind of quickly, we, we have added 3,000 students to our district uh, in the last 10 years through transfers. They come here because we're such a fine school district. Um, and I'd like to comment on some of the programs that we didn't hit on tonight. Um, uh, we've extended, in this, in this typical time, lost $100 million, et cetera. We've extended our IB program We've extended the AVID program, which I think is one of the best things we ever did. We created the dual language immersion program, the core knowledge program, which is now Bryant and Adams, uh, and the STEM Academy, which has been so successful, was brought on during that time. And also, of course, our virtual school, which now is one of the best in, in the country, and we were able to do that. Uh, one of the things, we do have 42,000 uh, students uh, but it's a very different student body than it was uh, uh, 10 years ago. We know the population has increased dramatically. We're now, 60% uh, is the latest number of, of Latino population. Our African American population has fallen. Our Asian population is increasing. Um, I thought it was interesting the number of countries that were now represented in our USD. And we now have 98 different countries as part of our, of our, our body here. And I think the, the United Nations only has 194, so yeah, we're almost halfway there with the rest of the world. Um, the, the point I've made repeatedly are the number you know, of students in our district that are on free or reduced lunch. 67% and growing of students whose families are in poverty. We must, in my view, for all students, focus on K-3, because that's the gateway to education for our kids. Be proficient at the end of third grade. Yeah. And I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you.